50 years ago, a small fishing company was established in the fishing village of Saldana Bay on South Africa's west coast. Today, this company, Sea Harvest, has grown to be the lifeblood of the community, employing hundreds of local people and working its way into the hearts and souls of all who live there. Sea Harvest, celebrating 50 years this year, has grown into an international success story. The road to 50 has been marked by inspiring leaders standing together during hard times, striving to improve life in the community and lots of hard work. Their commitment and innovation have earned this commercial fishing company the reputation of being one of South Africa's progressive black empowered corporate citizens, not only in terms of its sustainable deep sea hake fishing practices, but its track record in developing and supporting the local community. The biggest employer on the West Coast, Sea Harvest provides 2,425 jobs and is indirectly responsible for 35% of all household incomes in Saldana, creating significant employment opportunities directly and via secondary support to suppliers and service industries. Brimstone Investment Corporation and Cajiso Tisa Holdings are both broad-based black-owned and managed companies. As a consortium, we negotiated the most significant BE deal in the fishing industry. Together we now own more than 80% of Sea Harvest Corporation. The financial benefits from our investment in Sea Harvest now reaches more than a million beneficiaries from previously disadvantaged communities. Our Cape Hake fishery was certified by the MSC in 2005. It was recertified in 2010. It's the gold standard in terms of sustainability. It allows the fishery to access markets um, which could not be accessed before. Cape Hake was predominantly sold in Southern Europe. The MSC and the fact that we carry that eco label on our packs gives us access to that, those markets. It is a differentiator, but I do believe going forward, it's not gonna be a differentiator, but a requirement that you fish sustainably. Sea Harvest's multi-million rand infrastructure enables the company to sustain jobs, support development, and remain commercially cost-effective in a volatile, competitive international market. In the 60s, only the Spaniards understood Hake's nutritional benefits and excellent taste. Now, thanks to the quality and freshness of Sea Harvest's end product and ongoing consumer education, South Africa and the world loves Hake for the healthy, delicious fish it is. 50 years on, and Sea Harvest owns and operates a fleet of sophisticated fresh fish and freezer trawlers and a processing vessel. The Hake is caught 30 to 320 kilometers offshore at depths of 300 to 800 meters. Sea Harvest's processing facility operates with advanced eco-friendly technology ensuring the fastest possible transfer of fresh fish to land-based factories. The company has added value to the end product, producing crumbed and grilled products right in the Saldana factory, continuously improving their market share. While the company is a specialized global operation, it remains a local business that supports the community and its values remain the same as when it was established. Fishing is our life and our livelihood. Effort limitation was voluntarily introduced by the industry. It's another sustainability uh, initiative. Effectively, what that does is cap the horsepower and sea days in the industry, um, really meaning that, um, you know, should the quota increase or decrease, you cannot add more capacity to catch your fish. We have certain bycatch in our fishery that are very valuable. Uh, two of those that come to mind are monk and kinklip. So bycatch limitations were introduced to protect those species. But at the same time, there is a period of three months of Port Elizabeth where the kinklip do spawn, where it's a closed area for that period. It can be extended to some other inshore fisheries um, like cob, um, and it's further being uh, investigated as part of our MSC certification in terms of what else we need to do for bycatch. Another sustainability initiative by the industry was to ring fence our fishing grounds. Effectively what that means is that only about 4% of the EEZ was uh, being fished over the past what 100 years and we voluntarily agreed not to go outside those grounds and protect the benthic out there. Sea Harvest has achieved many accolades reflecting its best of breed commercial, transformational and environmental programs but it also offers a positive success story in human terms. Founded on the principles of equality and education, 
Sea Harvest has nurtured a development pipeline across the business. New entrants are trained to address the challenges of language and base mathematics. From there, candidates follow an apprenticeship route, a cadet route for seagoing staff, or a food processing qualification. Thereafter, selected candidates are enrolled at tertiary institutions for leadership and management development qualifications. One of the issues that uh, was identified as far back as 2005 by the scientists were the number of bird kills of the black-browed albatross. Uh, it was estimated at the time that about 18,000 birds were killed during trawling. Um, and then the study was uh, done in 2012 after all the mitigation devices um, that we've put on our vessels like Tory lines and that number had reduced to about two, three hundred birds. The company places great emphasis on driving national health awareness issues, encouraging the practice of preventative health care and supporting staff and the community with health care and social services. In addition, the community benefits from Sea Harvest monthly healthcare talks and workshops. The company recently co-sponsored a social development department and satellite clinic specifically for Soldana, offering important social programs. Sea Harvest is also involved in many community and career-focused events. The Sea Harvest Foundation, established in 1998 to advance career opportunities to staff, is committed to building capacity in the area via education programs and support to SMME development. Since 2010, Sea Harvest's Kids for Kids campaign has donated 800,000 Rand to help fund necessary improvements to the Red Cross Children's Hospital and has pledged another 350,000 Rand this year. If one looks beyond and behind the operational equipment and 1,500 tons of fish that the company processes every month, one will see the thousands of people that consider themselves stakeholders in Sea Harvest. Not only the 1,791 permanent staff, but the thousands of suppliers, traders, service providers, students, learners, graduates, and entrepreneurs who benefit directly and indirectly from the company's many community development and business development initiatives. The last 50 years have seen Sea Harvest become a respected leader in the deep sea trawl hake sector, a company that supports job creation and drives exports to the benefit of the local community. Supporting a triple bottom line approach, Sea Harvest has proven that commercial enterprise, the environment and community spirit are critical success factors in developing a healthy, relevant and sustainable business.